Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about restoration of Azure SQL database if it is deleted through Azure portal. We face scenarios where by mistake, database can get deleted and we have requirement to get that data or the database again back into the SQL server. So the scenario is like we have Azure SQL database. The database could be DB1, DB2 and many into a database server. Okay, server. In this server, we have many databases and one of this database has got deleted due to a mistake. Okay, and we need to recover the data or restore this database to that deletion time. Let's say it got deleted now and has two tables in it. Okay. And we want this database is to be restored with these two tables at this point of time. This is what we are going to accomplish in this video with the help of Azure portal. So we will go to the Azure portal. Here we have SQL Server. We can see the name of the SQL Server, Shakti Singh SQL DB Server. And if we go to the overview, we can see the server related details. And under the settings, we have this section called SQL Databases, which will show us the different databases which are present inside this SQL Server. So in total, we can see here five databases and their status and pricing tier is shown. Now from among these five databases inside the SQL Server, we are going to delete one database and we'll try to restore it also using the portal option. So let's delete one of the database among these five. So recovery DB test is the database which is opened in another tab of the browser, which is recovery test. And we can see in the query editor section, we are present inside this database, SQL database. It has two tables, employee table. If we open it, the employee table has some data and user details table also has some data. We are going to delete this database, SQL database. So we'll go to the overview section and at the top we can see here the option called delete. Okay. We will click on delete. It will ask us the name of the database. So we'll type the name of the database or we can copy and paste. So the name is recovery DB test. We'll click on delete. Successfully deleted database. Database has been deleted. Okay. Now if we go to the SQL server and here five databases were showing earlier. If we click on refresh or we click on reload this page. Now we can see here after the reload or refresh of the page, only four options. The deleted database will now show up in this section data management. We have section called as deleted database. So we'll click on deleted database and we could see here recovery DB test is showing. Okay. It's deletion time and creation time. Now comes the restoration part. If we click over recovery DB test, it will ask us to create the SQL database or restore this database. When we click on the deleted database name, it will open up this restore database page. Here the fields will be grayed out, which we are not going to change because the source database is the deleted database name and the source is point in time source. Then the restore point will be shown. Okay. And the other options are earliest restore point restore. Then if we go down, it will show us in the database details where we have the database name. It will give us today's date and time. We can alter it as per our need. So we can say just this date up to the date server will be our existing server and rest of the details looks fine. Okay. Now we'll click on review and create so that we can restore our deleted database. Validation is happening. 
here. And at the top right side, we can see in the notification that the deployment has initialized, it's submitted. And very soon we can see that the deployment is in progress. Restore deleted database existing server. Deployment is still in progress. In the meantime, we can see going to the job portal in another browser page to open the database recovery db test and we can see that the resource is not found that means our original database is deleted and we are trying to recover it once the recovery is done we will again try to open the recovered database which is recovery db test and we have added today's date as a post fix there so let's just wait for the deployment to complete so the deployment completed, it took around 10 to 15 minutes, more than the actual deployment time. So be patient when you are trying to restore a deleted database. We'll click on go to resource. It will open up the recovery DB test and the date of today's date in the name of the database. We can go to the query editor and log in into the database. We'll open up the table section and could see and in the table section we could see the two tables intact. Okay. And if we go to the SQL server page that is Shakti Singh SQL DB server, which is open here, and to the SQL databases section under the settings, we could see here the new restored server created recovery db test and it shows online. Earlier there were five databases, we deleted recovery db, db test, so it became four. And now after restoration, we have got the recovered or the restored database here again. Okay. So yeah, hope you have understood this video. In the upcoming videos, we'll explore other options to restore deleted database in Azure. Thank you for watching. Happy learning. Bye.